Okay, so Matt says make a video. I'm making a video. Um, this is uh, Travis's Barrelponics system design um, with a few modifications that I've done. Um, and, and I'm just going to run through these as if you're familiar with Barrelponics. And then that way um, you can see the changes that I made. Um, let's see, so the first one is uh, his design has one fish tank. I have two uh, because it seems like by the time you fill up the reservoir or the flood tank enough, the water level on the fish tank drops significantly. So it's better to have two and less water dropping down between the two of them. I've connected them with what's called a bridge siphon, which is basically a flooded hose. Uh, here you can see I have two hoses because I wanted to move more water. And that just equalizes the, the water level between the two tanks. Um, the other thing I added was on the drain for the grow beds is I added, oh, excuse me, I almost fell. I added this little um, bend here. And what that does is that lets me adjust the water level of how much um, water fills up the grow bed before it starts to siphon out and drain into the fish tank. So that was like the second change. So what, here's the pump. Um, that's running all the time. It's not on a timer. It just keeps going. And it draws about 7 watts total, so barely notice it. Pumps water up into here. This is what's called the, the flood reservoir. And it sits kind of up high on everything else. The other change I made to Travis's design was I took out his, his toilet bowl thing and I added what's called a, a bell siphon, which is basically um, just like a standpipe. Here, I'll come over here so you can see it better. But it's a standpipe with a cover on it. And as the water level gets to this high, or as you can see from the markings, um, then it creates a siphon inside and sucks all the water down and out through the flood. This is this piece here comes out here, and that's part of the original toilet bowl design. There would be a water bottle that sits here, and the water would fill up, fill up, fill up, and then finally get heavy enough and pull the chain and flush the toilet. But that was so problematic and noisy and everything else like that. The the red stuff floating around in there is just the dust from the hydroton that I haven't cleaned out in a while. I normally keep this tank covered so that um, algae doesn't build up. And so anyway, the water floods out here. Oh, and there's this too. So I added this, which basically controls how quickly the flood tank fills up. And uh, that lets me control how frequently the water flows into the grow beds. So here's a current shot of what the grow beds look like. These are all jalapeno peppers um, that I planted kind of from seed. There's some bee balm here and then some um, basil here and more bee balm. And then um, you can see I have worm, a worm that I got rid of this morning. And over here I've got some romas that I'm just kind of letting go wild. Um, I really didn't expect any of this stuff to live, the fish included. And, um, you know, so I'm just kind of letting it go, do its own thing, just to kind of figure things out. Um, I'm using Hydroton as a grow media. I got a really good deal on Craigslist for it. It's normally pretty expensive, um, but I got a good deal. But you can use um, like regular rock and everything's fine. The only drag about this kind of grow media stuff versus like a raft system or, um, you know, some other system that's just kind of water based is that if there's any kind of plumbing problem, you got to scoop all this out. And that's kind of a deal, especially over here with the tomatoes, you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but anyway, there's roots just growing everywhere. And they actually grew down into the, the drain here, um, which slows the draining down on this one, which is why this one's pretty much pointed straight down. So anyway, um, that's the first bit. Let me know if you have any questions. Tip.